So we're gonna go over using the gi and stuff to start attacking some chokes and some marks. Okay, so uh, making sure that you have good pressure, first of all, uh, right now my knees uh, are on the ground and so I'm sharing a lot of weight with the ground. So once you, if you want good side control uh, pressure, make sure you, you can uh, get a hold of the far armpit or even lapel, pull that in and then make sure your knees are off the ground, okay? So I'm on my toes, my knees are off the ground. I turn my shoulder, I face a little bit towards his hips this way. And I've got good pressure, he feels it. If I want better pressure, I bring my head forward. See, he's kind of squirming. And it's hard for him to really do anything from there, okay? But sometimes you have to put your knees to the ground if you want to start attacking, that's just the way it is. Okay, so from now, for now, what I'm gonna do is keep my knees on the ground, get a solid pressure. I'm gonna take his lapel out, his far side lapel. Okay, so I'm gonna untuck his gi as much as possible. If I'm here and it's getting bound up, sometimes I grab the gi and I push it out this way so it untucks from his back. Okay. For now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the lapel and we're gonna go over the top of the arm. Okay. And I wanna hit kind of close to the wrist. Over here towards the elbow is not so good. Okay. Or towards the wrist and then I feed it to this hand like this. So now it's getting his arm out of the way. Okay. Sometimes, for just a simple little um, submission, I can push the wrist towards the mat, okay, and I use my head to block here. Then I feed my other hand underneath, and I grab this, and I use this as kind of a Kimura or a Americana type action. And you can sometimes you can get it, or sometimes it makes them uh, just real uncomfortable. Okay, so you go here, and you can. Finish a, you can finish an Americana sometimes, okay? That's just like a little cheeky thing you could try. But for what I want to focus on is when we get here, keep that. I go over, I feed this tight, okay? Now I'm gonna go for my first choke. My first choke is gonna be baseball bat, okay? So once I'm here, I block on the hip, I go knee to belly, okay? Now, this part's important. I'm gonna slide here, I'm gonna lift his head. And then this palm is going to go palm up, um, and I'm going to aim for over his over his hand, right here, next to his neck. Okay. Now, this part's important. I'm going to slide if I'm going to slide my knee over his shoulder. Okay. If uh, if they're blocking my knee, uh, I'll show you that in a second. But when I get here, my knee is going to go over the shoulder. Okay, and it's going to plant right there. While I do that, I'm gonna bring my shoulder low, like this, okay? So I'm gonna kind of slide, and I get low here. Then I pivot, my head to the other side, and I work on my feet. And then from here, all I do is pull my elbows to my ribs. So this way. Okay? So right here, oh. untuck. Over the wrist and grab. Cinch it tight. Pop up. Pull. So I, I pull the head up so I can get this nice and tight right away. Because sometimes you might be able to just finish it right here. But you want it nice and tight. You bring your elbows together, slide over their shoulder, pivot, head down, up on my toes, and pull your elbows to your ribs. Okay? If when you're sliding, they're blocking with this hand. You just you just pop your knee over it. That's it. So once I get here, I get this all set up. He knows, so I'm trying to slide. He's blocking. I just up and over, and, and then you just pivot it and go back into finishing. Okay. We get on that. So you either slide or they block. You just pop your knee over. Good. Heads up. One, two, three. 